So we're back to initiative. Oh, uh, it, nah. Everyone gets plus two initiative, by the way. So it's down from nine to two? Yeah, and Yogi gets none. Yogi gets none? Yeah, because the dragon aura is only 30 feet. Oh, okay. It's not good. Oh, your terrible initiative? Okay, I think I will follow that up. I have one more ice storm, so I will use that. So, ooh, that's some terrible damage. That makes up for the last one. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. Sixteen points of cold damage to uh, Yam, Kronos, Sparta, and Cory. Jeez, what is the area of effect of that? 20 foot radius. Like that. I'm not a fan. No, you're little pieces of crushed rock now. Or crushed ice. <laughs> was that a dad joke? Oh, so a dad joke. Okay. And then, uh, since he is the only person left and he won initiative, he will fuck right off. Wait, doesn't, isn't it a movement action to make a skill check like that? Make a skill check like what? Oh, that's right. He's small, so he doesn't care to move through small spaces. No, he went north. So, sorry. He was there, and he five-footed to the north. And then moved his 30 feet from there. Right. I, right. I just thought, he's probably going into a crevice. Being large, I was thinking, it's a standard or movement action to use... Uh, skill check to move through there, and then I realize he's not large, he's small. So it doesn't matter. I was, I was just being annoyed. That's all. Fair enough. That's why they have home build advantage here. Yeah, they didn't build this dungeon specifically to fuck with intruders. So, Yogi, um, you notice right away when the other uh, sorcerer got to the bottom of the stairs, he uh, sealed off that chamber. Not to the bottom of the stairs, the bottom of the ramp. There's no stairs in here. Yeah, I saw that. And then it's Bardas go. Kronos is looking pretty hurt, so I will do a cure moderate wounds on him, which should be 44 plus my, twice my level, right? Yep. Who needs faster? Is there a max like on that? This. Twenty-nine points, Kronos. 
Doing anything else, Barda? Yeah, I will move over here for to heal on, uh, uh, to do two to a, do a swift action for a cure minor on Yam. Thank you. Uh, is that it? Uh, that's it for Bart. It's your go, Yam. I will cost what healing again. Um, if I put it here, it will hit everyone again except for um, the wolf pet, Bloodhawk. Bloodhawk. Everyone gets 13. What's the area on uh... uh 25 plus 5 per level? No, that's five the range. Level. What's the area? Oh. Right, maybe I read it wrong. Um uh, I think it's one of those where no two can be more than 15 or 30 feet apart. Yeah, maybe it is that. Uh... I'm fine. You can leave me out. Oh, you were left out. There's no doubt about that. It's just whether or not he could get Crimson. Crimson's, uh, Crimson's oh, cool. It says... It just says this. You have to read Healing Word. Yeah, you have to look yeah, at the right, right. spell. Uh, okay. Healing Word 1. That's... Uh... Oh, it does say just uh, five creatures. Okay, never mind. I thought it was one of those ones where it was like a burst in the middle and you could only be within this range of it. So yeah. in that case, they have to be within, uh, what are you, 8th level caster? Feet. Yeah, 45 feet of you. Okay, I thought oh, you were measuring, me? yeah, from you. Oh, Two I thought it was just, oh uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, so everyone. You could just move into the middle of everyone. Yeah, I will do that first then before I do my cast. <laughs> I just wanted to figure out the math before it became a combat issue. Here, you can just do it however you want, but if you're in combat and you have to move to the center, that's going to suck for the spell. I suppose I should move here because I wouldn't have been able to see him. So yeah, that, everyone will get 13. Well, only five people get 13. Yeah, not Crimson. Um, and then I will switch my aura back over to initiative. And I'll, and I'll switch my other... No, I can't. Never mind. That's my turn. Okay, Yogi, you're up. You still have haste, by the way. I think for like two more turns, all three. All right, I don't see anyone. That's it for me. I'll stay away, kind of near the group, but not on the group. Okay. I right, some crimson staying with you, so it's Corey's turn. Um. I guess I will uh, walk down the hall looking for traps and see where this guy went. 
Did you take your 13 hit points from? Yep. All right. Okay, there's a trap right there. I was waiting for your stealth roll, and then I realized you weren't going to roll it. Can I go over the trap? Can I go to the side of it? Is it going to be an issue to get around it? Yeah, you can walk over, walk around with no difficulty on the west side. On the east side, you'd have to make a balance check. So that's probably the hallway that he went down, right? Um, this one here? No. Oh, he went up here? He went north. He went this way. Saw that motherfucker. I guess I'll just stop there. Okay, you can make a perception check. And then we're on to Cronus. Yay for fast healing. Um... Are we going after that guy, or are we recovering? Uh, absence of an answer is an answer as well. I will... I think the best bet is just to continue moving forward. They'll show themselves when they're ready to, and we'll take them out then. Sounds good. As long as we're stick sticking together, because uh, I think we'll get lost pretty easily if we split up. I'll five foot step and I'll uh, heal Barda for eleven hit points. Okay, then we're to the top of the round. Is it initiative? Uh yeah, I guess since we are. Uh... In a combat situation, we should roll initiative. I was just going to go in turn, but you can technically see him. Uh, everyone gets plus nine. Oops. That's not. Where I might be able to get him. Might go, might go poop on him. Crimson still, I mean, uh, Yurki still has Hades. So you could probably chase him. Yeah, same with Crimson. He's got yeah, a, right? a monster. You're up first, Corey. Okay. Um,. Can I check for traps as I'm walking up this hallway, or is that going to make it so I can't attack in this round? Um, that's a good question. I'm just going to look up what searching for traps is as a action. It takes a full round action to search a five foot square. So, yeah, when you're searching for traps, you go ridiculously slow. I don't think you roll every square, but uh, you need to check every square to proceed. I'm sure I tripped a trap somewhere through there. Yep. Um, in the hall, you trip the wire. And you can make a reflex save against that. I'm assuming it's not a spell. No, it's just a mundane tripwire. It's just another rock fall. Do I get bonuses for trap sense or anything? Uh, yeah, it's a trap. You get your trap sense bonus. 
draft sense plus three. Okay, then you can uh, roll your save against uh, the acid trap. Oh, there's an acid trap. Is that a spell? It is a spell. So it is, and uh, it is a fortitude save. Oh, well, that's a nice one. Ouch, that's going to hurt. Uh, 35 points of acid damage. But when you're done, it's your action. Does he have mirror image on or anything? Yeah, he has mirror image and stone skin, I think. I don't, he didn't have a chance to cast Displacement. He should have in the same round the other guy did, but he was readying an action. Well, um, I guess I get rid of an image. Okay. And then I will use my positioning strike. Excellent. Roll your other fortitude save. He's standing in between two traps. Yep. That sounds suspicious it is incredibly suspicious when they made me recount somehow i counted it wrong and i put him on the second trap and i was like he wasn't on the trap the last time so that doesn't make any sense i counted it out like three times to make sure he was in the right spot well you made that save so that's ew, 11 points of cold damage that was terrible. We've got some wild dice tonight. Okay, are you done, Corey? Yep. then we're on to yogi oh uh, i called down the hall for help i've got the source for cornered help me up here did you take the extra 11 mm -hmm. oh i thought you had 20 when i rolled it nope So there's a mirror image. How many more does he got? Two, Two more? more? Two more, yeah. You know, for the fun of it, I'll lock that. What are you locking? I'll lock the second crit. Nah, that's enough to kill him. Still got my extra damage, by the way. Even when he's so far away? Um, well, technically it's ended, it so it's, just ling it's lingering at the moment. So, I think so, right? Is it lingering? It ling the, the bardic music lingers for five rounds. If it counts the same, then it would linger for five rounds. On him, no matter how far away he is, right? Yeah, I think so. I just wanted to make sure that that power or the spell or something didn't have yeah. a limit on how far it can reach. Well, it's it's finished. I mean, even if you walked away from me, it would still linger, right? Well, it depends on how the spell works. Like, if the spell has a duration and a range, like everybody within 10 feet well, gets it doubled. It's infinite 
Well, it's the class ability, but it's infinite duration. As long as, as, long as I maintain it. No, no, no. The spell that you cast that grants the ability. Yeah, and it's not it's hard, just music. Yeah, it's a class ability. It's not a spell. No, but you cast a spell to extend it, didn't you? No. He cast a spell, I think, to, to, to increase it. the yeah. bonus on it. Yeah, I gave it plus one bonus. It'd be like a guy casting haste on someone with an extended rod or something, and the guy runs out of and, you know AOL, but it still works. No, no, what I was just checking to see. Level? Are your straight bard of eight levels? Yeah, yep. it's just all you have to, right? Yeah, it should, it should linger for eight level for eight rounds. Oh, is it eight uh, rounds uh, after? No, not that it matters. It's not the lingering. It was the spell that I was thinking. It's concentration, and then it, after break of concentration, it lingers for eight rounds. Okay. It's five. Yeah, I think it's five is a minimum, but it might be around a level um, after that. Same with the radius is 30 feet, or 10 feet a level, whatever is greater. Yes, yeah, so he's just paced on the wall. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say how long it lasts after I stop, but I remember seeing it on the, the feet that extends it, that it base lasts five, but I don't remember it, it saying. It's there. It's, it's five base. I don't know how it goes up after that. So you gotta remember, he changed bard a little bit. So it's one round per bard level, minimum of five. So if you're eighth level bard, it'll go for eight rounds after you stop. All right, sweet. Yeah, and then it's got an 80 foot range. Yep. All right, okay, yeah, so it's got four potential. There's feats that increase that too. Yeah, yeah, that's the feat. I was talking about that feat. Lingering song? Yeah, something like that. I was almost going to take it. If you're a combat bard, that's really good because then you can cast it and then go and help. But if you're a support bard, it's a waste of time because you can just sing while you're helping. Yeah. Well, I don't know. All the spell casting stops it. So, you like, even if I want to do a swift action heal, I can't because it stops it. It's kind of annoying. There's that's... pieces you can take to change it. Yeah. And that's also where you, if your primary goal is to um, cast spells, you can do an inspiring dance. Yeah, but then then it wouldn't work here because um, they need to see, right? Yeah, they would need to see. So when they go out of range, they would they wouldn't have they line wouldn't of sight. Yeah. But if you, there are several different ways that you can use your bardic music to influence people. I usually suggest singing because you can sing while you fight with your swords. If you play yeah, an instrument, good. you can cast spells that only have a verbal co component. And if you're not moving, you can dance. Yeah. So it just depends yeah, maybe, on what your style is. Maybe if we weren't in a cave, because otherwise my hands are full with a shield and a torch. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. Maybe if we were, yeah, if we were above ground, I could have just used the instrument, but yeah, probably not here. Okay, what are you guys doing? Stand we... here and heal. <laughs> yeah. Are we out of combat now, or are we still going? Well, at this point, um, the last you heard, Yogi or Corey called for help, and Yogi ran oh. after him. Then, so I we're under Cronus's turn. I'm going up there. Just one move. Out of ten. You have to make a balance check to go through there. Oh, then I'll go the other way. Yeah, you're right, you said that. I'll go this way then. I'm not gonna go that do that fucking shit. We're not good at that. So that's forty five feet of movement. Yeah, plus not any balance check. Fuck mean. that. I'm not gonna fall into the goddamn pit of doom. Uh I see that they have murdered this poor kobold in cold blood. He has been butt blasted by the druid of doom. Well, he's gonna be poor now because we're taking all his valuables. 
<laughs> uh, I will stand in this hallway and uh, roll perception for any sneaks, and that'll be my turn. Who's in charge of treasure in this one? I think it's Barda. Yogi. Oh, is it Yogi? Oh, no, no, Barda. I was for a while, but somebody had done the last couple sessions. I didn't know if I was supposed to take back over. Ah, uh, you have it. It's up to you. If you don't want to do it, I can give it to someone else. I don't mind do doing it. It's just I, how up to date are we? Because I didn't do the last couple sessions. Yeah, the one session that you weren't here for, I got Yogi to do it. I think and he there did was this only last session as well before. There was only last only last person came down here. Yeah, last session was just as uh, session zero for the new guys. We no, no, I mean, the, session, no, uh, the last session, session we did, we only killed one guy, or we only looted one person. Yeah, the sorcerer. That's fair. Here's another loot pile. Yep. I just wanted to make sure someone was writing it down. Do you guys use, like, a Discord loot channel, or is it, like, an off-camera, like, loot thing that someone just gets track of? If you go to the uh, uh, journal page, there's a loot tab there that they normally put the loot in. Journal. Oh, and I see. I see. That's interesting. Wait, where is this? In the journal page where your character sheet is, there's one that's called oh. loot. Apparently, I didn't put the loot thingy in there. No, I deleted the picture. Why did you delete my picture? Because it, it let the box to be bigger to, to view it. The picture took up a lot of the space. Yeah, but it's a pretty picture. I don't even like you. You guys got, you guys got a lot of good shit in here. So we've sold everything, but what you see is what we've collected coming to this cave. Um, uh, well, uh, if now we're wondering what we're doing, I could use some healing. Surprise, surprise. What? Really? Well, All are right. we still in combat? Because I could definitely still heal myself if on my turn. It just hasn't been my turn yet. Well, at this point, we are still in the combat round where they killed the, uh, what should we call it, the sorcerer. So, Kronos is gone, Crimson, Yam, then Barda. Well, are we going to pursue, or are they coming? They're dead. He's dead. Wait. They got him. And what's Crimson doing? He's going to wait for me to come get him. Right, my turn? Yep. Uh, I suppose I will... Uh, five foot step. You say five foot step is a swift, right? Or free action if you don't take any other movement actions. Okay. Five foot step. And then I will cast three lesser hills. Okay. How, how did the kobold have two cloaks? Uh, probably because the DM, uh, wasn't paying attention. The Cloak of Lesser Hiding, I think, was the original cloak. And then, uh, when I leveled him up, I was just looking for something and I didn't realize he was wearing the cloak. Just make those boots of hiding. Or, uh, stealth. Boots of stealth. Yeah. There's, it's a super old character sheet. Bada gets 19. That's my turn. Okay. I don't see the which one you're trying to get me to make boots of stealth. The one that says uh, cloak of uh, lesser hiding. Okay. Boots it is stealth. it is such an old character sheet that that's before I change the uh, uh, skill table. Who gets those heels? What is that? Uh, this for Bardo.
What does the rookery mean? Oh, I have shield on me. Oh, okay. You, there, there is a shield uh, symbol too. Oh, there is. I, see it. I think there's actually a couple of them. I guess like this. That's the broken shield. Okay, are you doing anything, Barda? Healing, I'm gonna health. And did I heal in a tunnel? You're breaking up so much. Is it just me? No, he's breaking up so much. I went looking for him. I didn't know what direction he went. Uh, I think he went like somewhere like that. I'm already at feet and with haste. I already made full movement action. Oh, you didn't have haste. Oh, then I made a full movement. Everyone went this way. He's looking for the other one. Oh, the guy that went down the corridor. Yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, are we out of combat? Or? Uh, at this point, there are no enemies, and the round is over. So you guys can do whatever you want. I'm gonna tell Barda not to go too far. We should try to stick together. I will stand here and heal myself until I am um, in full health. Do I need to search the warriors that died here, or is it not really worth it? Uh, it's up to you. Um, if you want to grab the treasure, you can do that as your action. Yeah, I'm just going to be doing that um, until everyone's sort of grouped up. Corey, if you'd like, you can stand next to me, and I'll give you a big hug, and you'll heal together. Do you want to check for that? Or no? no, no, no. I just need you to spend an action doing it, if that's what you're doing. Yep, we'll be doing that. All right. I just want to know for the purposes of the action economy what you are doing. Um, so there are three warriors that are in the pile of dead. That sucks. Yeah, that seems weird. I thought there were more than three. Did someone delete four. one of them? No, there were three. There were three and two sneaks. No, there were three sneaks too. I guess maybe I just uh, wasn't counting, wasn't paying attention as I did it. I, swear there were four I thought it was three. four and four. I thought it was four as well. I swear there was at least four warriors. I only saw one sneak. There, there were two th sneaks. There were three sneaks. I I have all the dead tokens at the bottom of the screen. I saved them, but uh, I have three right, and three. There were three sneaks. So there are three warriors with that set of uh, gear. Jeez. That's all on you, by the way, Corey. 9, 13, 12, 11. Mm -hmm. And three sneaks with that gear. So a good group of uh, treasure there. I already put the Sorcerer's Treasure in the uh, chat. How much more you need there, Corey? I can keep going. Well, let's do this round by round. Corey, by the way, I gave you five in the heal check. You gave me hot five from a heal check? Okay. So you get five from him and then whatever you get from right. Kronos. Well, what what was that, Kronos? Was, what's the eight for? For the nine? Uh, that, was one, that was one too, but I rolled like shit on it. So that's on just one save. one spell? So that's one round of spells? Is the nine? Yeah, um, it's a full yeah. round action. Okay. I'm standing here till I'm healed or something attacks us. Yep, and I'll stand here. Give that's, good. that's a radical concept, Corey. Imagine if you'd done that the last time. <laughs> I did that the last time. No, you didn't. You ran forward and tripped three more traps. 
Oh, well, we hadn't stopped. There was still a sorcerer to kill. No, 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 no. I meant in the very first encounter in the game, you walked in, tripped a trap, and Chrono said, stand here for five seconds and I'll heal you. And you walked yeah. away. I was down like three hit points, though. That's fair. The three hit points will count one day. Oh, well, they, they almost counted in that fight. <laughs> You'll rue the day. Uh, if we're... Can I check a heal on me, or am I still searching? Uh, there are six bodies there, so you can grab so the treasure six, from yeah. each one, each round. So first round, you grab treasure. Um, and then uh, Barda and Crimson get pelleted with uh, magic missiles. So stuff is that do nothing to us. Or nothing to me, at least. Yes, it does not have a major effect on you. I think it does anything to Yam either. She got shield. I don't know how much it'll block, though. Shield will block uh, five points per level. So Crimson takes nine points of damage. And then it's initiative. Uh, I still have my initiative aura, so anyone within 60 gets 7, and then if you're within 30, you get 9. God damn it. I forgot to hit the... There we go. I'll change it to 19 when it comes up. Uh, so I only get 3 because I'm further away, right? Um, It's within 60 feet, you get 7. Nine. Within 30, you get 9. Okay, so uh, mine would be too higher than that. I don't see the initiative tracker to modify it, though. Sorry, I hadn't put it up yet. I was still taking all of my uh, actions for that round. Got to go through and mark each kobold with their um, missile thingy. So I know who's attacked and who hasn't. That one gave him a five for some reason. No, you're seeing the CR5 underneath it. Yeah, that's uh, very convenient. I was like, what the hell is that number there? I just moved the token to check that. I haven't encountered poison yet. Sorry, what was that? I haven't encountered poison yet. I'm. We have in the past. Yeah, I try not to put too many things on at once. It's just too much for me to track in each situation. So, if I have poison and fire damage and electricity and then slow effects, it just it ends up being so tedious. Okay, Corey, you're up first. Uh, to, I'm just going to stand here and wait for my healing. So I'm going to delay until after Cronus goes. Okay, Barda, you're up. 
Um, so how many rounds actually happened before this started? There was one round of in between uh, combat. Okay, so everyone should still have Bard Song for like one round, I think. Okay. So I was told to wait and group up, but I'm also playing Barda, who's a priest of Tempest. So I'm going to charge. You are my Barda hero. Hang on before you go. We'll find out if you're dead. So you're minus two while charging. So I assume a 25 and a 21 do not hit you. That's terrible. Oh, is that that would be uh, your flat-footed AC too? So, flat-footed AC? Yeah, your flat-footed AC. So 25 would hit me, I think. You got it in the morale aura. Well, it depends where it happens, because he might be too far away from me. It lingers for a moment. It happens at 65 way. feet. It lingers either way, but either one oh, way or the it? other, I only got hit once. I don't think this. The aura doesn't, doesn't linger. Cool. You have to be within yeah. range. That's this is what I was way, asking I before, is trying to figure Either out which... Way, based on those numbers, I only get hit once. Okay. It's a difference of 23 or 25. Okay, so you take 16 points of damage as you run through. And then you can go. It's a bad time to take 16 points of damage because being surrounded like this, I have one spell in mind I want to cast, but I can't really cast a spell right now. But I did charge, so I may as well use that attack. When I say and regroup, I, miss, I, I mean four. regroup. I have not rolled above a 10 all night. Well, I missed, so... I'm screwed. You power because attacked for five? I, under normal circumstances, I still had to have a great chance of hitting him. But because, because of this, this stupid never never rolling above a five tonight, I still missed. Well, you can plus three in there to hit him. Yeah, you get plus three on that to hit. Oh, oh then I hit. And his armor class is twenty-one, and you're rolling. You rolled a twenty-three, or is that with the five? Well, 23 minus the 5, but plus the 3, I think, I'm pretty sure I would still hit. Oh, okay. No, you wouldn't. If you're not, if you're not counting the charge. Uh, no, I didn't count the charge there in there. You did or didn't? Didn't. Okay, so you're plus 5 to that and minus 5 to that, so that would be 23, so that would be a hit. 26. Why would he be 26? He's already added the 3 when he did the minus 5. And then do I still do the 3d6 extra damage? Yeah. Plus 3 damage. 3d6 plus 3. 3 morale and uh, 3d6 fire. That's some decent damage. Okay, Yam, you're up. I will delay. Really sucks that this is the main trade entrance because there was no trap in that whole area. Like you ran like 30 feet right down the middle of Trap Central and there wasn't a single trap there. I gotta play my character. No, 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 that's perfect. I just, if you'd done that anywhere else, you would have ran through three traps. But here, there's no traps because this is the entrance to the lower level. Um, you would still be hasted, by the way, Yogi. Yeah. Just make sure. 
I think it wears off. Haste is oh, okay. I was gonna say haste is only eight rounds. Yeah, it should wear off around the same time. Yeah, this this could be the last round. This druid's a rapist. He just barely hit with that 22, though. You know, I only rolled a 4. Can we, like, clone him? Uh, you also get bonus damage. Okay, I'm done. Uh, I will take my turn. Or What's Crimson gonna... doing? Yeah, actually, let Crimson go first. I'll go after Crimson. Okay. Were you waiting until this point, Yan? Um, is he attacking Crimson? Yeah. I'll go after him. I'm done. All right, I will. I'll yell out up this way. Uh, we've got more combat to the east, and then I'll move. Oh, I'll swift my aura to movement speed out of AC, so I'll move. There, and then... Um... Uh... Oh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try it. Uh, I'll cast Hideous Laughter on this guy. Okay. So DC should be... 10 plus half your level plus your Charisma modifier. 21. Almost. Alright, well, he's, uh... He's laughing. What does that do? I think uh, he's pretty much done. He's prone. prone and is fucked. Okay. Uh, that is my turn. Okay, then we move on to Cronus. Uh, Corey, I think my healing is super inefficient and will take Literally forever to heal you. Uh, I'm going to go help the others. I apologize. Oh, you're not going to give me that 13? It's a full uh, round action to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. I didn't know that. Sorry. Move there for my first move action. Uh, once you're within 60 within me, you get plus 10 move speed. I am at, I am at this this. Vector, am I within 60 feet of you? Yes. Yep. He can't see around the rock. I don't need line of uh, effect for him. I just need to be able to hear him. Yep, that's her. Awesome. So I have an extra 10 feet. 30. 10. And then, with the way you guys do five steps, I'm able to take a swift action five foot and a free action five foot? Is that accurate? Okay. No, you can only take a five foot action, five foot step as a free action if you've taken no other movement action. So if you make a full attack and cast a swift spell, then you can take a five foot. But if so you move, I'll... if you five foot or move 30 feet or whatever, it's no longer a free action. 
but I can I can do a swift action one. Yeah, you can do a swift action one. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to understand how that all works then. Yeah, you get a swift action every round, a move action, and a standard action. And you can make multiple free actions if they don't overlap. Like you, you can draw your weapon as a free action with uh, quick draw. And you can yell commands with a free action, but you can't yell commands and say it, cast a spell that's free. Assuming it has a vocal component. Right. Okay, so you're done? Yep. Easy turn. <laughs> Corey was delaying, so he gets to go until after me. What he was doing. Okay, well, you guys are my absolute heroes. Were there a bunch of fucking turd burglars up there? There are a bunch of turd burglars up there, weren't there? No, nah, another sorcerer. Won't you go right after me, or is he like readying to poop or scoop or you? No, uh, the sorcerer is right after Kronos. Right, but he was delaying until after me. Who was? Corey. I don't know if Corey wants to go now. Oh, yeah, Corey, yeah, Corey went first here. and delayed until whenever. No, I fear, but to fireball them, I'll stay up here. Yeah, which is exactly why I waited until Cronus had dropped his token and said he's done his turn before I announced it. I can't even see this clown. That's true, but he is targeting Yogi, and in order to target Yogi and not hit his guys, he's got to target the other side of Yogi. That's right. And Fire. as a Fire. result, just by splash, it goes 20 feet in the opposite direction. So, uh, Barda, Yogi, Crimson, Kronos, and Yam can all roll your reflex save versus Fireball. Oh, oh we rolled it uh, one. I just got back. Uh, Fireball. Uh, if that's what's happening, because I, I would take an immediate action if this was Fireball. Okay, fireball. Okay, I'm going to change my aura to reflex save. Everyone gets plus seven on it. Huh. Well, that helps Yogi. Well, I got I got to 19. We, we gave it a shot. Rolled a two. Can't help that. And I can't luck that, can I, to get the yeah, 20? Yeah, it's pretty screwed. Yeah, everyone gets plus seven on their reflex save. Well, my was a total Oh my god, that is the worst 10 v 6 I've ever rolled. I love it. Okay, so all of... Yep, um, anyone who beat a DC 22, I think it is? 21. So close. Yeah, you were. I when he said plus seven, I was like, "Oh fuck, he may, he's high enough." But he has evocation bonuses. Only covers evocation and conjuration, which are his two big ones. So uh, twenty-seven, thirteen to those who make the save. Uh, I have a question with the god thing. I think I have enough ranking to get the five fire resistance. Do I just get it, or do I have to do anything special? Um, other than tithe, no, you don't have to do anything special. So I just get the bonuses if I reach the rank? Yep. Okay, I got five fire resistance. Oof. Um, so it's half, right? If you made a save. Yeah, whatever damage you take, you subtract the fire resistance from. So if you made the save and took 13, you would take uh, eight of that. Oh, do we round down on points generally? Or generally, the, the way I do it, normally I try to roll the right number of dice, but because I guess I could have done, in this case, 5d6 plus one. And that just gives me half, and then you double it for the other half. Uh, but I normally roll player side down, enemy side up on the first, and then the opposite. Just to account for the half uh, hit points. That's a little confusing, but okay. So, 
I always rule in the player's favor the first time. So this time you take 13. Next time you take 14 on the 27. Because the total is 54. Forget, but... No, it's not. It's not really. I'll tell you what the number is when it comes up, and I go the other way with monsters. When you, if you had hit him with the fireball, he would take the fourteen this round and the thirteen next round. Nice. Not a huge difference, but the total would be fifty-four on over two attacks, so half is fourteen. So, what did this fireball? Um, you do not know because you can't see it. I think everyone behind Yogi would be uh, completely unaware of what's going on. Uh, is it top of the turn? It is not the top of the turn. This Cobalt will five foot up and target Kronos. I'll do it. 18 points it. of magic missile damage. And then it because hurts. he could hit him, he still has his full move action, so he will move around and help flank Barda. Uh, this guy will move up to complete the flank. Uh, That's the guy I hit with um, Hades Loft, though. Oh, yeah, he's out he's of out of the fight. Okay. Busy laughing about the fact that his dragon daddy died. When you hit somebody with something like that, just put a uh, marker on the token. So oh, yeah, right. Are just so saying? I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't even have to make sense. It just has to be something that makes me go, what's wrong with that guy so I don't move him in combat? Yeah. Oh, he's also prone. He's also prone. Yeah, yeah, as long as he's fucked up and I can recognize that. He's fucked up. I was going to have the rogue come up afterwards, but he can come up right now then. So they move up and swarm Barda. The guy in the north doesn't get an attack. The guy in the east gets two attacks. Oh, they're at plus two for the flank. And then the guy in the south gets four attacks. The first one is flat-footed. I don't think 20 makes a difference on flat-foot. I uh, don't have two AC at the moment, by the way, for me. 27 is the only one that gets through Barda. So 22 points of damage for Barda. And then as a swift action, I forgot the sorcerer can hit him with a ray of enfeeblement. So you can roll your will save assuming i hit i don't oh. think a 13 is going to be hit so he misses with that and that is irritating okay um then I guess that is it. I think everyone has gone. 